trainer because I, I have to take care of my diabetes. I'm a type two. Um, I've had family members that I've lost due to their diabetes and their health and just not taking care of themselves and kept seeing your videos. And I was like, no, I, I got to try it. Just give it a chance. What, what can I lose? Besides weight, <laughs> you know, and taking care of myself. So that's what I did. I started listening to your tips, your tricks, everything that all, every one of your videos, which by the way, yeah, there's times I've had to show my husband the videos and I'm like, no, honey, um, I'm listening to him. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Because he has diabetes, he understands... I don't have problem. diabetes. Oh, but you understand the diabetes. I get it, yeah. I, under, I understand it. I understand what raises blood sugars and stuff like that. Abs I understand it with wh what I've dealt with with clients and stuff like that, yes. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, my husband, he's he doesn't understand diabetes at all. At all. Yeah, if you don't get it, you don't understand it. It's like, no, like if you take in these carbs with sugars, you could die. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, and if anything, your tips and tricks have actually been helping me. Um, and so, yeah, that's so much where I'm at. Less than two months, you're down 26 freaking pounds. What, what was the biggest, what was the biggest, what was the biggest tip that helped you the most achieve these goals? Honestly, staying consistent. You have to stay consistent. Consistent with what? Uh, in terms of eating clean is how I feel. Um, like not, because as a care provider, you get tempted, um, you know, especially when you're out and about. I mean, there's a lot of fast food joints, you know, and you're trying to figure out, you know, how to eat on the go at the same time work long shifts. And so because of it, I just learned to really make my meals at home and pack them and literally be mindful in terms of what I'm putting into my body. When did you start to notice the biggest difference? Like, when did you start to be like, holy cow, like this guy on TikTok was actually right? Honestly, it was the moment I was able to try on my wedding dress. And when I first tried it on, um, I just tried it on for fun. But when I first tried it on, I realized, oh my gosh, I couldn't fit it. And then when I tried it on recently, um, you know, because I wanted to see if my dress still fit. <laughs> and because, I mean, it was... A, two size too small and when I was able to zip it up and I was like wait a sec I zipped it up and there was no issues <laughs> like none like it just and that's when I realized wait a sec he's actually right I need to continue on that, the track that I'm on and just keep going were you under eating before you started doing this or were you overeating? I was actually under eating. There were times where I felt like I needed to starve my body just to try and lose even half a pound. And I started realizing that no, you, you can't starve as a diabetic because I mean, there are so many risk factors um, that go into play and it's not healthy at all by any means. Um, and honestly, if you have to starve your body, then clearly you're not on the right track. A hundred percent. That's freaking awesome. I wish you would have started off that conversation. I'm down 26 pounds, but hey, I need help with this. <laughs> honestly. Oh, that's awesome. Has, what is every, what have your friends and family been saying? Like, what has your husband been saying after like just these results in such a short amount of time in less than two months down 26 pounds? He's noticed a major change in terms of my energy level. Um, he's, there's been times where he's like, wow, he, you're small. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, what did you do? And I'm like, well, 
I've been following some videos, you know, I've been walking more, I've been packing my meals and taking them to work with me, you know, instead of getting tempted by all the carbs that they have out, you know, and he was like, wow, you, you look good. You, you look amazing. That's and awesome. So There's no better feeling than that when other people notice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if anything, I've noticed in terms of my uniform, um, I've had clients come to me and they're like, uh, you're smaller. What, what, what happened? I was like, I just changed something. <laughs> and now it's getting to the point where pretty soon I'm actually going to have to go shopping for a new uniform. <laughs> so That's why I always tell people, I'm like, yo, don't come at me when you start to like not be able to fit in any of your clothes and you have to go buy all new clothes. So don't, don't be mad at me. <laughs> Honestly, I love that. I love that. Um, because if, if anything, if the clothes are getting smaller, then the confidence is boosting. A hundred percent. What was your why of wanting to actually do this? Like you could have kept scrolling, but something made you actually do it. So what was, what was your why to keep you going day by day, meal by meal? Honestly, I have family who died of complications of diabetes um and weight just kept packing on and so because of it it just kind of like no i need to take care of myself um my mother passed away about a year ago almost so it was just kind of like i have to change something I have to get better and take care of myself because I don't have my mom calling me almost every day saying, hey, did you check your blood sugars? Did you eat? So it's like when you lose that support, you got to do things for yourself again. It's, it's, it, that's, that's why the why is everything. And I, on the worst circumstances ever of that being your why, but that is what's making you actually do these things for you. Uh, and, and I know right now she would be absolutely proud. <laughs> That's what I always tell people too. Like when people are grieving or whatnot with uh, losing family members, I'm always asking them like, what would they want you to be doing right now? Would they want you to be going out and being unhealthy and doing the worst things to your body? Or would they want you to continue to succeed and love the way you look and to become healthy or whatnot? So exactly. your why is amazing and that's definitely what's got you to drop 26 pounds in two in less than two months. Um, but I, I love that. I love that you dug deep into that and that's that's your why of why you do this. and. There's, there's no better gut-wrenching why than that. It has to be emotional. And it has to be something that you'll have your favorite pizza or candy or pastries in front of you. And you think about your why and you're like, no, it's it's not worth it at all. And then if you do eat it, it's fine. But that's what I love about it. And that's why I talk so much about what is your why. So you've absolutely have crushed it. Done amazing so far. And you literally just got started in less than a month and a half. Yeah. Yeah which is just insane. And I think it's also partly because number one, in terms of my physicalness, um, so I don't drive. So I literally run from one shift into a next. I'm independently contract. So, which means I'm always running around. So in terms of my activity level, it's high. So I think between that and eating more clean, um, is what I simply call it, but um, an understanding that there are better alternatives. Like I can still have pizza, you can, but the recipe just changes. That's all it is. Yep, a hundred percent. And all it is. another thing too is you can definitely go up another two hundred calories if you want to. I was going to tell you that earlier, but just a side note: if you want to go up another two hundred, you'll be fine. Okay. Just a heads up on that one. But you were saying like lunch was always a difficult thing for you. So what have you done differently with lunch this time while losing all this weight? So 
what I did in terms of lunch, because I noticed that with my intensity level with work, um, I try my hardest to make salads and add shrimp to them. So I'm th- that way I'm still getting like my omega-3 and plus still getting vegetables and all that other stuff. And I add literally a range of vegetables. Um, and I mean a range, not just your basic salad, you know, stuff. No, I add a variety of things to kind of make it a little bit more. And then, plus, I'm eating my protein bars, which, by the way, I swear by Quest. <laughs> I freaking love them. Like, I just love them. Um, and I'm drinking a lot of water with it, um, only because, I mean, with the heat and then plus everything, I mean, I can get dehydrated quickly. So, because of it, that's what I've been doing for lunch just to go a little bit lighter on my stomach because with this diagnosis, it's no joke. It is no joke. Yeah, I'm curious to see what what changes with all of that within the next couple months too. Like, it's crazy what I've seen people do just in a couple months just by, by changing the nutrition. It's insane. Yeah, and a lot of people think that just because the nutrition... Um, changes that automatically you have to cut out things that you love. People are like, oh my God, I can never eat pizza again. No, nobody said that. No, it's not true. It's not true by any means. Um, You think that naturally, but you really don't. All it does is just the recipe. The recipe changes. That's all it is. Yeah, have you made the egg life wraps with pizza? Um, That, I actually... I've been thinking about trying that. I don't even like pizza, and they were good. Right. And that's what a lot of people don't understand with nutrition. You have to be mindful of what you put into your body. Like, if you're eating crap, then you're going to feel like crap. You're going to feel it. And if you're eating healthier, then you're going to notice your energy level. You're going to notice not only just your weight but you're going to feel absolutely amazing and I wish people understood that how important it is to take care of yourself and take care of your body your body is your temple 100% people are just so against oh my gosh I can't eat candy I have to eat candy I have to eat pasta well if you cut out all the garbage you'll be shocked on how you feel do you want to feel amazing or do you want to feel like crap and continue eating the stuff because of making you feel like crap it's it's crazy to me yeah and if anything i mean as a diabetic i noticed that i used to be tired a lot i literally was tired a lot and i mean a lot it got to the point where i would work a 12-hour shift and come home and i was just done for the day yep and notice with my energy i mean my energy is high now we're to the point i can work a 12-hour shift come home clean the house and still have time you know to say to my husband hey let's go on a walk and that's that's what i try to explain to people and people like why do you why don't you eat potatoes why don't you eat rice why don't you have pasta and bread because i feel terrible on it I feel awful on it. I have no energy. I'm tired. I want to take a nap. Like, I wake up, no joke, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. every single day wide awake. And I go to sleep at like 10 to 11. I yeah. start my day and I love it. And people are like, there's no way. Like, how are you not tired? Because my body's functioning the way that it should. My hormones are in check. I have the energy. I'm not tired. Well, and it's funny that you say that because that's literally how I start my morning. Every morning, I start my morning at like 3 or 4 a.m. Every single day. It doesn't matter if it's my day off. I always start it bright and early. And I started out with, of course, I have to have my Quest bars in the morning. (laughs) Because I'm not a breakfast person. But I love my coffee and I love my Quest bars. Um... But I start that way in the morning, and then I do some meditating and yoga um, at home. And then if it's like my day off, then I'm running errands throughout the day and then hitting the gym as much as I can. 
that's the thing. It's just day by day, meal by meal, and it's 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 crazy what happens. And people just need to start. That's why I beg everybody just to start. Let me ask you: Do you have true meal? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Bro, I, you were talking about breakfast in the morning and coffee. Put true meal in your coffee. I may have to. It is a game changer. Yeah. But I was just curious on that because you said that in the morning. I was like, uh, that'd be perfect for the morning. Because you're saying the Quest oh, yeah. bars or whatever. But um, which what flavor Quest bar do you usually get? Um, I like the birthday cake one. I've never had the birthday cake. I can never do anything other than cookie dough. It's so damn good. Honestly, and I just recently actually um, bought, I found one of their Quest cookies. It's absolutely amazing it's like uh quest frosted cookies interesting Um, i've seen those actually yeah i got the chocolate cake flavor one and the vanilla one and i'm actually so excited to try them (laughs) nice i bet well shoot girl that's amazing you're crushing it so hopefully i answered your question or whatnot with what you called with but what do you tell everybody when they ask what you're doing if somebody were to ask, like, hey, I really want to do this, like, what would you tell them? Honestly, I would just say I'm taking better care of myself. But what, what else would you say, though, like how you're doing it? Well, number one, eating more clean and quit the garbage. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I love it. I mean, and even when I'm, like, out and about, I mean, there's times where if I like, for example, if I, let's say for example, I have a craving for Panda Express, I actually pay attention to their actual like labels in terms of calories and protein. And I try my hardest to be like, no, I don't want my meal like that. I want it's crazy. Like I'll do, pa- I could do Panda Express a three entree and be under 700 calories. Yeah. It's so easy. It's so simple. Most of the time I have to get two of those to so I can hit a thousand calories for each meal. Yeah. Well, usually when I go there, the one thing I always um, try and get is just a bowl. And I tell them that I'm just going to add another entree on top of it. Um, and I always go with the super greens because um, you have to have your greens. It's just amazing and of course I go for the sizzling shrimp um of course because it's it's a little bit spicy and tingy, so it's one of my go-tos but I try my hardest to change it up as much as I can in terms of eating cleaner and just staying away from all that garbage yeah I love it girl you're doing amazing keep doing what you're doing you took before and after photos right um, Don't break my I heart. Ha- <laughs> I actually have not had before photos because I was literally camera shy. Um, but I definitely have a couple. <laughs> couple. All right, good. That's that's what we got to be going off of is those before and after photos. But you're killing it. You're doing amazing. You're gonna be sh- if you would t- you'll be shocked with the before and afters for sure. But keep doing what you're doing and keep me updated. All right. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, you got it. Have an amazing night. You too. All right. Bye-bye.